Hello mods, it is Crashmaster, and welcome back to another Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom video. And today mods, I don't even know what episode this is exactly, honestly, because um, it's been uh, about a month, maybe a little more than that since I recorded, I'm very very sorry about that. But uh, mods, to catch you up on what's been going on in the series at the moment, with the help of a little bit of memory, and on the, and on the, the um, Wikipedia, um, well, the um, Nino Kuni Wikipedia. Basically, this is um, what's been happening, Mike. So, we have both of our characters, Evan and... Um... Oh, sorry, Mike. I don't know what happened there, but um, <coughs> it was like a mid-cough and I tried to stop it. I don't know what happened. Um, basically, we have our, ca our characters, Evan, young Evan down there, and Roland over here. Now, Roland is basically from a different world, which is more or less, I'm guessing, our world. And he was like the president of a company in like Japan, I think, if I can remember correctly. And basically, we got transported through to this universe or planet or this place in general. And um, young Evan over here is the king of a kingdom called Ding Dong Dell, which is a place from the original Nino Kuni game. And he's apparently, he's, he got dethroned by like some gopher people, in a sense. It's a pretty strange game. And um, basically, Mart, at the moment, right now, we are traveling to Cloud Coil Canyon to reach the King's Cradle to, um, let me see right there. We can see right there, make your way through Cloud Coil Canyon, traversing through C Cloud Coil Canyon as well to uh, meet the, uh, what is it? Let me see, the Kingmaker? King Creator or something like that? Um, to reach the King's Cradle to seek out a Kingmaker for themselves. Um, for us. So that's at the moment what we're doing. We also have our little friends the Higgledies down here which have special sort of abilities in a sense as well mice to like help us throughout our journey. And um, yeah, that's basically what you kind of need to know. I don't want to give you too much information much, but if you are interested in the gameplay, I implore you to go to the playlist in my channel and um, I hope you really all enjoyed the videos as well. So right now at the moment, let's see. Um, Oopsie, did not mean to do that. Uh, let's see, at the moment, where are we? So, we have to go through here, make a left, and another left, and that's apparently where we're supposed to be, or supposed to go. Alright, but anywhere else? That was a dead end. We can't really go through that area at the moment. It seems so right there. Actually, wait, let's go Let's go check that real quick, Mark. I'm curious. Let me just get my buttons back, because it's been a while. Uh, let me see, uh, like this. Okay. Uh. Okay, uh, squares to attack. Uh, circles to jump. Q is also to, I mean, Q triangle <laughs> to attack. And X is nothing, alright. So there we go. Let's see. And we also have this thing called the Leaf Book, which I just re remember we got from our last video from the, uh, from this um, strange man, in a sense. And this seems to be... I don't even know what this was supposed to be again. I think this is like sort of recaps of the story, although some of these places I don't quite remember too much. I remember them a bit. Uh, as I said, it has been a while. Uh, let's see. So, we got some enemies right here, so let's go take them out so I can um, gain a little bit of um, battle strength back, so like m muscle memory in a sense. There we go. Oh, nice job, Evan. All right. Oop. Yeah, there we are, and we have, um, we got quite a bit of loot as well from that. Let me just make sure I see a little thing down here. I see another one of these, the Wind Whisper spell, there we are, that we also learned last video. There we are, and woo! Come on again, again. Ah, there we go. We got an Iron Nugget, alright. We get, uh, we get 18, we can make an Iron Sword. <laughs> With, uh, two, two, we can make it two ingots, alright. There we go. Let me just, uh, do one more time. Whee! What if there's anything up there? I don't think we can really get up there, though. I doubt it. Alright, let's see. So, I just want to backtrack just a tiny little bit, Mike. So, hopefully, forgive me. There's a treasure chest up there. Alright. Oh, we got some more enemies. Oops, I did not mean to do that. There goes nothing. Oh. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh. Trying to learn some combos at the moment. Oh, I leveled up, all right. All right, we got a uh, Mage's Ring 2. And we also got some Gilders as well, which is basically the currency of this game. Cry Baby Onion, uh, a sheaf of hearty wheat. All right, so we got quite a few interesting, uh, interesting uh, items, basically. That's all I can really say, honestly. All right, here we go. <sighs> Woo! There we are. All right, let's see. So, is this the dead end or... No, Mark, is this the area um, up here, I think, right? Or is this just a dead end? Oh, he looks tough, Marks. I don't know if we can take him, honestly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, boy, but he's not down yet. Oh, nice job. All right, Marks. Teamwork makes the dream work. Man, I, I gotta say, I was a little bit worried there. But uh, thanks to... Oh, we got clear crystal, clear crystal. Getting quite a few of these, huh? Um, but thanks to teamwork with Roland and Evan, we were able to uh, defeat that enemy. I didn't even get a good look at the name, honestly. Let's see, alright. Anything in here? We got some more guilders. Uh, 300 guilders. Alright, alright. That's pretty good. Let's see. Anything else? It looks like, yeah, so there is more up the path. And there's a chest. Alright. Okay, let's see what's in here. Maybe more guilders. We also got another clear crystal. Ooh, a new sword. We got a queasy cutlass. Uh, hopefully I don't get queasy from using that. I might um, check in my inventory to see what else maybe we can equip. Because we did get a little bit of something too. There's some more stuff down there. Um, more pathways. We might explore that another day. And that seems to be about if now. So it looks like we're going to head on uh, continue our quest mites at the moment. To uh, find the uh, kingmaker. I mean, King Create, King Maker, or King Creator. I don't know why I keep, because King Creator sounds much more better in my head. It's the um, let me just make sure the King Maker. Yes, the King Maker. But I, I feel like King Creator would have been a, a more catchier, um, a more catchier phrase, honestly. All right, here we go. And there's more enemies right already. All right. I mean, we still are getting back to the use of battles, so that is good too. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting pretty good at my um, blocking as well. Oh. There we are. Oh. Is there any more enemies? Oh, wait. Yep. But I think uh, Evan's doing a pretty good job. Oh. Nice job, Evan, man. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. You didn't need my help. Any more enemies? Nope. It looks like that was the last of it. All right. So here we go. There's some more up there, though. So we're gonna have to be cautious. Ooh, just like that. So that might I almost fell down there, and that would have been really, really bad. All right. So let's see. Is there anything up there? No, that was just a dead end as well. <sighs> Whoop. All right. Here we go. There's nothing. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, nice. Critical. Oh. Gotcha. All right, there we go. Another victory. Also, I gotta say, my these skeletons are really, really not making me comfortable. You know there's gonna be a boss of, of some sort. Like, I hope it's like a baby. <laughs> Please tell me these are the grown-ups and not the babies. Ooh, we got another chest. Let's see. We got a base bone, apparently. And we also got a some sort of way. All right. Our health is pretty good. We only lost like one tiny little bit of health. That's probably from like one sweat droplet. Watch your backs. Oh. Okay, let me try jumping real quick. Okay, nope, that's not gonna work. Come on. Ah. All right, that's one hit. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, what the? Oh, oh god, I got electrocuted. Oh man, have a nice job. Oh, but there's um this guy over here. The Tempest Incarnate? Or Incarnate? Oh no! How dare you hurt the Higgledies! How dare you! Oh, that's it. Oh! Whew, nice job. Or did I shoot it? I'm not exactly sure. I I kind of um I kinda of had a brain blank at the moment, brain fart. I was about to just use my special attack, that's why. But um nonetheless we all did pretty good. 
a uh, bottle of fresh milk, a pebble. Just, I'm not always gonna pick up these little sparkle smites. I'm just kind of curious. Or, well, I'm trying to get at the idea if they're worth picking up, obviously. Crybaby onion. It's basically just probably like crafting stuff and whatnot if we can make anything. Or maybe it's just like food nothing. and whatnot. Huh. Yeah, I, I love I love jumping in the air like that. Oh. Nope. Yep. And yeah. There you go. Alright, we also got some chests as well. So whoa Mars, you gotta admit, we're getting quite a bit of loot at the moment. So I see another little sparkly bit. I have some gildas, I think. More gildas. Alright. Clear crystal. Anything around here? Perhaps? No, just some little sparkly bits. Man, Marks, we do not want to fall down there. No sorry. Okay, uh, grab that. Uh, pot of mellow fat peas? Okay, that's something I don't think I've ever would have said in my life, mostly because it sounds like gibberish a bit. Mellow fat peas. Mellow fat peas. Oh, come on, come on, uh, Evan? Where'd you go, Mark? Evan? Oh, there you are. Come on. You can make it. Yeah, there you go. Alright. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Don't tell me I. It's, uh, is it okay to go down there? There's something down there. Ooh, it looks like a couple more enemies. You alright? Evan! Where'd you go? Whew. Okay, you're right there. Okay, that's good. That's good. For a minute with that, I thought something bad happened. Oh, Mike's Okay, it was called a pork chopper. I'm gonna try to be peaceful with this one. Because, you know, it was kind of wrong of me to assume. Hello there. Uh, sir? You ready sir? For this? Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, boy. Okay, he's not friendly. He's not friendly at all! Yeah, that's right. Ha! 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 Whew! That was really close! Man, Mox, you gotta admit, it's pretty light of speed for a big guy. See, it's not always about size. It's about skill. Whoa, what's this? Di- Dynagoon? It's the same one. Ooh, but it's nullifier. Nice. Oh, but not to magic! Oh, we got a sparkly chest. We got a multi-proof basic wizard wear. All right, that sounds pretty good. At the end of the video, Mike, or around the end of the video, I'm gonna go in my inventory and maybe I'll whip some better stuff because we're getting quite a few, uh, quite a few things. Is there any way to go down there? I I kind of want to go down there just to find any loot because you never know. There might be some more because there's quite a few more enemies. Huh. Oh boy. All right. Also, why does a bird, a random crow, have a, a wizard wand? I don't understand that. What's the purpose? How to even get it? Huh. Alright, there we go. We did that pretty quickly as well. Got some more gilders, a good egg. Alright. Um, our health also seems to be doing pretty good, Mike. I don't know, Mike. It seems a little bit too easy. It feels like a boss battle's cut gonna come at, at this point. I don't know. Can you feel it, Mike? Can you feel the boss battle building up? <laughs> we got a munchy nut. A munchy nut. Alright. Munchy crunchy. Alright, like this. Okay, let's see. At the moment, we're making pretty good progress on our map. Got some flags here, so it seems like we might be getting close to civilization. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh! Okay. Okay, that took way too long. I'm still still, still getting used to it, Mons. You know what? I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this. Yeah, there we go. Man, did we take out all of them? Oh no, except for that one, but he's flying. Hey, come back here. How do I use my pistol real quick? I wanna... Yeah, that's out. All right. Ooh, there we go, Mons. Just in case you wanna know, if you played the game yourself, it's RB. We got a watery broadsword. Man, look at all of this loot. We got a lot of gilders, a base bone, cut lean meat. All right. We got some more flags around and whatnot around the area, too. So it seems that we might be getting close to something. Let's see. We also... Is that a tunnel up there? We might be going up there, too. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like we might be. Let me see. I think I might change my sword as well. What kind of sword do I have at the moment? I got... 
This one like the fire kind of sword. Which one? Should I go with the cutlass? Um, you know, I'll go with the cutlass. I'll go with it. All right. Okay, baby. Onion again. All right. It's got awfully narrow of a setting. Yes, and it's a long way down. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> Note that it's not been a long way down, honestly. Ugh, look at that skeleton back there, my yikes. And what the heck is this thing? A voice can be heard coming from the Higgledy Stone. Well met, Traveler. Show me what you got. Give me what I like, and I will like you quite a lot. Hey, I know. It's talking about them nuts. Eh, eh, ain't it? Okay, that sounds kind of weird, but okay. The crunchy, munchy ones. Yeah, whoa. Okay, Mark, we also got quite a bit. Offer up a munchy nut? Uh, sure. Is it going to eat all of them? I don't know. Here you go. Statue. Eat it. Or something. Whatever you do with it. You try offering up a munchy nut. Well done, Traveler. This is what I mean. That's the greatest offering that I have ever seen. I guess he hasn't been offered much, honestly. Or maybe he just doesn't like it. Oh! <laughs> oh, look how cute he is, boy. He's got a lever. Look how derp he is. Look how derp his eyes are. That's kind of cute. I, I mean, it's really cute, let's be honest. That Higgledy hidden inside the stone comes flying out. Higgledy befriended. Filigree, the flighty, has decided to join you on your adventure. All right. Um, nice to be acquainted with you, Flighty. Make your best offer. Let's see. Uh, there we are. Travel the slurry trail trip door. Man, there's a lot of tongue twisters in this game, aren't there? Got a pebble. Not exactly sure what I can do with that. Maybe shoot it. Got another iron nugget. At this rate, Marge, we'll be able to, um, make an iron sword in no time. Alright. <sighs> Woo! Alright, there we go. Just make sure you're not wearing a dress. Or have a belt, just like mine's, just like Roland's. A sixth sensor, ooh, that actually sounds really good. Got like a sixth sense, maybe we'll have a seventh sense, an eighth sense, nine sense, ten, eleven, until we get to twelve. <laughs> oh boy, or maybe thirteen. The thirteen senses, or seven. The seven deadly sins. Piece of a course core, alright, so let's see. We could keep going that way, right now, at the moment, we're exactly... Oh wait, we're going... We're kind of going back at the moment, yeah. So, we're not going to drop down here because, uh, yeah, we already, yeah, we already were down there. There we go, we got some more three, oh, we got a three-leaf sword already. Alright, let's go back real quick. So, let me switch my swords as well. I'm going to switch to the cutlass. Because, you know, Mike, it's always important to switch your swords. Alright, let's see. Oh, oh, okay, that was close. Can we jump down? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Rolling, you okay? Alright, so the Higgledies, alright, everybody's keeping up. I don't want to lose them. Oh boy. Huh? Huh? Do you hear that? Uh. Whoa! Good. Oh boy. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? Oh boy. Whoa! Uh oh, Moss, that's not good. We just got captured. <laughs> By Cunbish. You're brave indeed to come uh, wandering into these parts uninvited. That or you've never heard of the Cloud Snake. Sorry, uh, we're not from around here. Excuse me! We have important business beyond the valley. You simply must let us pass. <laughs> Chingus. Oh, we, we, oh, must we indeed? I'll tell ye what we simply must do, boy. String up all of them as come a spying on our secret base. Aye, me ordered colleague has right of it. Eve contra contravened Rule 7, Section D, O, the Piracal Aviator's Code, and the punishment for such a heinous crime is death. Oh no, no, I don't like death, please, anything but that! But we're not inva- we're not aviators, we walked here. Spare us ye clever words, mister. We'll not stand here and listen to ye wheedle ye way out of it. I piratins, busy work. Oh, I piratins, busy work. <laughs> 
Less talking, more dying. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I don't like that. Mox, I don't think we're gonna have- I don't think we're- I think we have no choice but to fight at this point. Cause I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. It was oh. nice to make your acquaintance. Huh? I say again, what the heck? <laughs> Mistress Tani! What are you doing? Taking the law into your own hands, eh? The boss will love that. Uh, we... we... uh... You were all set to play judge, jury and executioner. Then drag their bodies back to claim the reward, weren't you? Go on, I dare you to deny it. Well now, I never... That is, we... <clears throat> Oh, Mox, I don't know who this girl is, but I gotta say, thank the Lord she's here. We just got saved. I thought as much, but what happens to them isn't your decision. It's Batu's. Now take them back to base before I tell him you've forgotten who's in charge. Yes, miss. What should we do? We'll wait for an opening and run. All right. You two, take this lot back to base. I'm going to scout around a bit more. The Wyverns are on the prowl again. Wyverns? My I think I've heard of those before. And let's just say they are not friendly, at least from what I heard. Don't worry. The boss is a reasonable man. Most of the time. Oh, how lovely. I bet he'll serve us some tea and crumpets, why don't he? How could he not be? He's my dad. Oh. Okay. What? Plot twist! <laughs> okay, Mart, so... I gotta say, this is really, really interesting. So, apparently, just like... I would say Sky Pirates, I'm guessing, because they're, they're, you know, the talking... Yep, exactly, Mart, look at this. Sky Pirates base. Oh, wow, is that a... Is that a that's an actual, like, kind of mini plane, sort of. Quite the interesting design, I gotta say. This way, ye dogs, ye. Okay, I suppose. I'm trying, but I just can't seem to get my something. So stop trying. They're watching us like hawks. I think he said to get his hands free. All right, mates. Well, at the moment, I think that's gonna do for the um, episode at the moment. Um, although I, I can't really pause it. Um, so let's see. Maybe there's a safe point up ahead. Let's see, mates. Maybe we'll let's at least get a look around. All right. Oh boy. Yeah, that just screams friendly. But who the cloud snake? Not bad at all if we're lucky. His daughter seemed to think he was reasonable. Oh boy, Mars, this cannot be good. So this is their base. It's bigger than I thought it would be. Oi. Make one false move in here, me hearties, and you'll be running through quicker quicker than ye can spit. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, how oh, great. Oh boy, Mart. Look, you see that giant bird up there? What do you think they're gonna do to us, Roland? Hey. We've done nothing wrong, which means we have nothing to be afraid of. He's got a good point, Mart. I mean, we didn't really do anything wrong. We were just going. Oh, Mart, no, now we're off the trail. Who knows if we're gonna be able to find our way back? Oh, man. Huh. So, which one is he? But two, I mean. Mm. I'm not sure. The one with the beard, perhaps? I mean, maybe. So. So, uh, veteran pirates. So, these are our trespassers. Eh. Aye. I have to report in. Where's the boss when you need him? <gasps> Oi, matey. What? I says I. Huh? <gasps> oh, boy. So, what do we have here? Well now. Ye oh but oh dear. This is this is really bad, boys. This is really, really, really bad. Oh no. Ye must be the trespassers. Loitering specially in the canyon there. Or so I hears it. With good reason, please hear us out. Ooh, we only want to visit the king's cradle. We won't cause any trouble, I promise. Ye cause trouble the second ye set foot on Sky Pirate's turf, lad. Tis a violation of the code. 
one that carries the penalty of death. I don't like death. I don't like death. I really do not. <sighs> no exceptions. Yeah, I'll be dashed on the rocks at the bottom of the canyon. Just like all the rest. The cone must be obeyed. And the carrion crows must be fed. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What do we do? We did nothing wrong. We were just on a merry way, please. Well, can't you? Hey. You might want to reconsider. This is King Evan of Ding Dong Dell. What do you suppose will happen if you execute a royal? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Eh? You're a real one to just so in the face of death, matey. We're not so backward that we ain't heard of young prince taking the throne. But we're not so soft in the head as to believe he'd come trespassing all the way up here neither. There was a there was a coup. We fled here in fear of our lives. Boss! Begging your pardon, boss, but there's news on the one or some such deal. Dilvery might just be a scrap of truth in here tall sounding tale. Mm. Is that so? All the more reason to sling him off the cliff and be done with it. Oh god, why did we say anything? Because having charge in Ding Dong Dale should be pleased as punch as such tidings. And it can't do no harm to stay on the good side now, can't it? <laughs> Oi! But boss! It's Tani! This wife has taken her hostage. They said they'll let her live, but only, only if we promise to up stick right away and never come back. Snakes alive! The devils. Pick on me a slip of a girl, what they? Gar. But if we desert this base here, we'll be sending ducks for any and all of us to choose to come at us. The lousy lizards, they'll slaughter every last man, woman, and child. Really? You were just about to push us off a cliff and feed us to crows! It won't do. She may be my only daughter, but the needs of one can outweigh the many. I hear that too many times. But, but... But, she's... She's the blood, or my blood's what she is. If the boot were on the other foot, I know she'd do the same. Bye. B -b boss Now listen here. Hold your tongue. I've made me decision. Excuse me. Wait, you can't just leave her to die. What's that now? If none of you are willing to go, I will. I'll rescue her. <laughs> Please, Chief Batu, you have to let us try. Tani saved our lives. We're an honored bound to repay her death. Something tells me they ain't all ye after, lady. Um, laddie. Aye! Uh, after the. Well, it's not gonna say, this pirate talk is so strange. Aye, now after a way out, boss. You take it from me. We won't run away. You have my word as. You have my word. Just what are you plotting, laddie? I don't have time for none of ye trickery. It's not trickery, I swear. But. I have to live. I have to become a king again. I have to build a country where everyone can be happy. <laughs> you had your chance at being a king, lad. And you made a right pig's ear off it. Ran away up here with your tail between your legs, did ye not? These blighted lands are rife with misery and war. No one's building a happy run around here anytime soon. Especially not some lily liver little princeling who's mislaid his crown. Yo, I stick it easy, but who? Seriously, he's a kid. Then I'll put an end to war and misery. I'll unite all the kingdoms in peace. What's that now? Not just a king indeed, but the king of the whole blessed world, eh, lad? <laughs> if that's what it takes, I have to try. And I can't stop trying until everyone is able to live happily ever after. So I... I can't let it all end here. I just can't. <laughs> Silence, ye mangy curs. You were saying, lad? If I can't repay my debt to Tanny, 
I don't deserve to be king. I don't deserve to live. So kill us if you must. But at least give us a chance to save her first. And if we do, grant us safe passage to the king's cradle. So that's your game, eh? Yes. All right, Sunshine. You've got yourself a deal. Whew. Oh, well, mate. At least we're out of handcuffs at the moment. All right. So, do you guys have any idea where they might have taken her? Aye. Aye. The Wyvern's Den. Tis a great cave west over here. A venerable nest to all the vicious vipers. Before you take off, we have a little shop here at the base where you can stock up on supplies if need be. Alright, you have to hurry, Roland. She may not have much time. Agreed. Okay, mates. Alright, objective updated. Titani's rescue. Head for the Wyvern's den. Alright, Mike, so let's see. So... I wonder, is there a place to, like, save the game at the moment, or can we... I think we could just save it like this, right? Can we? Oh, Mites, wow, we could have just saved it the whole time, all right, Mites. So, that's going to be the end of the video at the moment. So, as you can see, we're getting pretty good with our skills. I'm using a lot more attacks. We're able to defeat quite a few enemies as well. But, um, at the moment, it seems that we're in a bit of trouble with some Sky Pirates. But, hey, we're able... We can at least try to save the girl, Mites. I honestly... I have to say, I feel for Evan, he he was overthrown, he lost his, the only person that was mostly family to him, he, was, um, he lost his whole entire t kingdom, and with the help of Roland, hopefully maybe we can get back there, but the moment wise, we have to repay our death, our death um, to Annie, I mean to Tani, sorry, to Tani, because it's just the right thing to do, I mean she saved us even though her dad was reasonable. And was about to throw us off a cliff and feed us to crows. But, uh, whatever, Marge. At least at the moment, she, we have some time. And I'm not gonna try to escape. We're gonna actually try to save her. That's the objective of this in general. So, anyways, Marge. Hopefully you really all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than I intended it to be. I, um, because it wouldn't let me access the menu near the place where... Like we just got into the entrance of the of the Sky Pirates den, basically. So um, so I hope you forgive me for that. But at least hopefully you all enjoyed the video up to this point. If you have watched it, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you all did like this series, don't forget to hit that little notification bell so that way you can all get notified of the next video in the New Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. Later guys.